Our analyst coached at Howard for 11 years. In his playing days, he helped Towson State reach the national championship in 91 and the national quarterfinals in 92. It's a pleasure to welcome Mike Jones. Thanks. Great to be here. Howard enters the game with a 4-3 and three record. All three losses have come against teams ranked in the top four nationally, and all three losses have been ugly. Coach Faust's Dragons still control their own destiny. Entering this game, Howard is undefeated in the region. Coach, what's key for Howard today? Well, it's a big Region 20 game for HCC, especially coming off the loss to Nassau. It's important for Howard to get back on track in the region so they get a good seed in the region tournament. Uh, if the Dragons can stick to their quick ball movement offense and good team defense, sliding early to the ball, and they should earn a victory today. Anne Arundel enters the game ranked fifth in the national poll. The Howard Anne Arundel series has been evenly matched. They've split their last six meetings. Anne Arundel ended Howard's season in last year's region semifinal. Coach, what do you expect to see from Anne Arundel? Anne Arundel's record looks impressive, but all of their wins have come to teams in the bottom half of the standings. Today should be a good test against the top 16. Last couple of seasons, Anne Arundel's strength has been on defense. Today, against the potent Dragon offense, will be a good challenge for them. Howard and Anne Arundel's face off next. Let's go to the Dragon's lab. First half, Howard on offense. Scott Dagnan-Leach draws the pole. Dagnan-Leach with a little too much effort there. He should have moved the ball a little more quickly. Kenneth Robertson wins the ground ball for Anne Arundel. John Jennings scans the field. Zach McElroy picks it out of thin air, sends it ahead to Austin Mitchell. Nice transition off the interception for an easy fast break goal. Cody Martin catches Dagnan Leach in stride, and gives Howard the lead, and goal number three on the year for the Midi out of Manchester, England. Dragons back on offense. Mitchell, seven in blue, breaks it up. Mitchell regains possession. Taken down, trying to improve his angle, and Martin ends up with it behind the cage. Connects with Dagan Leach. Howard is holding on to the ball a little too much, giving the Anne Arundel defense a chance to recover and settle in. Two minutes remaining in the first, one nothing Howard, Pierce Meyer, up against Reese Williams. Meyer goes down, the turf is wet from rain early in the day. A textbook hold there by Williams. One minute penalty, Anne Arundel's extra man unit takes the field. Nice save by Cilio, but he gives up the rebound and Anne Arundel takes advantage. Robert Bigelow with the man up tally, ties the game. Anne Arundel won the ensuing faceoff. Edward Hartle takes a run at McElroy. Retreats. Now moves the ball to Meyer. Man to man defense from Howard, but good ball movement by Anne Arundel. Good ball movement will beat a good defense. The ball always moves faster than you can. Anne Arundel takes the lead late in the first. Second quarter. Here's an example of a Howard slide causing a turnover. Good ground ball, good slide from the inside out, staying under control and forcing them to put the ball on the ground. After another Howard turnover, Anne Arundel's back on offense. Five turnovers for the Dragons. Long possession for Anne Arundel. Here's Pierce Meyer. He likes the matchup against Reese Williams, and here he comes again. The early slide from Clint Lewis forces the outside shot, makes it a relatively easy save. Cody Martin draws the pole. Able to get separation, looking for Dagnan Leach on the doorstep. Cross crease pass doesn't work there. Too easy for the defense to pick off. Mitchell, one on one with Robertson behind the cage. Mitchell denied entry above goal line extended. Loose ball. Mitchell wins it back. A little too much dodging from Austin Mitchell, but a nice job to find the open man off the ground ball. Josh Venturelli ties the game off the feed from Mitchell, and Robertson is hit with a one minute slash. Anna Rundle just backed up a shot. They're a man down, looking to kill the penalty. HCC's defense is extending a little too much. Leads to a backdoor cut by Anna Arundel for an easy goal. Anna Arundel won the ensuing faceoff. Two minutes left. Looking to go into halftime with a lead. Nice double team. A takeaway by Donald Corgrove. 20 seconds till the half. 3-2 Anna Arundel. Martin up against Liam Connell. Gets above GLE. Finds Dylan Riley on the crease and he puts it away. Howard in turn has their backdoor cut for a goal. Second half, Anne Arundel looking to get into the box. Ronald Carney makes 20 in blue, change direction. John Jennings with a lateral pass. And it's going to be a turnover. Failure to advance call on Anne Arundel there, and a quick restart by HCC. Isabel Reyes burns the short stick. Here comes Howard on the fast break. Reyes. Riley passes over top to Mitchell. Dragons regain the lead. Terrific execution from the attackman out of Reservoir High School. After three turnovers and an Anne Arundel failed clear, Howard's back on offense. Here in the second half, HCC is back to their quick ball movement offense. They move the ball to the backside for an easy dodge and shot. Daniel Chu, overhand rip, makes it a two-goal lead. Anne Arundel won the ensuing faceoff. 
Zach McElroy knocks it loose, but Bigelow is able to roll it to Brendan Schneidwein. And Renault picks up the quick loose ball and goes straight to the goal. But it looks like Cilio sees it the whole way and makes the save. Seven minutes remaining in the third. 5-3 Howard, they're back on offense. Riley goes to Jerron Brooks. Takes a run at the short stick. Brooks finishes the ball, three unanswered from the Dragons. Jerron Brooks with a nice low angle shot there, sneaks it in the near post. Officials hit Anne Arundel with a faceoff violation on the ensuing draw, so Howard's back on offense. Cody Martin with a nice rocker step there, gets his hands free and puts it top shelf. The third quarter has been all Howard. Dragons outscoring Anne Arundel 4-0 in the second half. Austin Mitchell with the dive shot inside, willing to pay the price, and the flag is down. The goal counts. Austin Mitchell gets pushed in the back and falls down, but he still manages to put the ball on the goal. Fourth quarter now, Anna Rundle scored on their first possession of the frame, and here's Hartle. Brooks gives up the inside position on defense there and allows the Anna Rundle player to go across the goal. A hard shot to stop for Cilio. Martin draws the pole. Here comes the slide. Martin, Jared Riley. Riley gets the goal. Nice cut to the ball and a classic Canadian finish. Anne Arundel not going anywhere. They scored on their next possession and they're back on offense. Long range shot from Anne Arundel. That's just popcorn for Cilio. 11 saves on the day for the sophomore out of Sarasota, Florida. Two minutes remaining. This has been a nearly two minute possession for Howard. Scott Dagnan Leach beats the shorty, beats the goalie. Howard finishes off Anne Arundel. Overall, it looks like HEC has gotten back to the basics in the second half, using quick ball movement and good team defense to get ahead and stay ahead. Let's send it down to Matt Stovall. Mr. Brooks, you seemed fired up pregame. What were you telling your teammates? Uh, Region 20, we don't lose, uh, especially playing at home. Uh, it's a lot of pride. We take a lot of pride in playing, playing at home, and that's one of our mottos. Uh, we have unity, pride, and intensity, and that's one of the things we take pride in is winning at home. So I just told the guys, let's come out here ready to play and let's get the win. So overall, were you, were you pleased with your effort today from the team? Uh, very pleased, very pleased. 3-3, uh, three, three, uh, first half. Uh, wasn't our best half. We knew we had to come out second half. Defense played an excellent game. Uh, Cilio in a goal. Uh, when we got Cilio on the cage, we know it's a good start. And then everyone just follows his lead. Then offense put a few goals together. Uh, we moving the ball, listen to what coach said, and we really got it going. So you made some great saves the whole game, but it seemed like really in the first half, the offense wasn't really scoring a whole lot. You were really making some big saves and keeping the team in it. How are you seeing the ball today? Oh, I saw it great. Um, Going back to the offense, um, we knew that on defense we're just going to keep plugging away, doing our thing, and we knew the offense was going to figure it out. So uh, nothing gets the offense, but we knew that they were going to figure it out. So we just had to keep up on our end, and we did. All the whole entire defense uh, played great as a team, all together. All right, Mr. Brooks, coming up a big game against Harford. How do you feel going into this game? Uh, as we all know, Harford's big rival in our region. Uh, we know. They're, making, they're having a down year, but we know we just got to come out, play our game, and we'll get the win. Uh, coach has been really been focusing on ourselves and focus on getting ourselves better. And once we do that, we'll be able to do what we got to do to win games, and it won't matter what the game plan is. We'll have that edge on our side by just focusing on ourselves. So, Mr. Cilio, what do you plan on working on between now and the Hartford game to, to get this win? I feel like uh, clearing is definitely need, needs to be number one priority for us uh, with every game. Uh, for me personally, I think I need to work on low a little bit, but we'll touch on that in practice. Congratulations on the win, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. For Dragons Layer Update, I'm Matt Stovall.